What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the error code 0xc0000005. I think that's how you'll see in the title, right? Access violation error that you may be getting for some Steam games that you may be playing. So there's a few ways to essentially fix this and we're gonna to try to go through them like in order. One of the things that you can do is actually like update the game. So like Counter-Strike 2, you can see it says update queued. Make sure the game is actually properly updated before you're trying to play it. The other thing you can do is, let's say it's Dota 2, it is updated, you want to go to properties, you want to go to install files, and you want to do verify integrity of game files, and let, let it run its course. It's essentially going to make sure everything is installed correctly, and basically go from there. Uh, if that doesn't work, what you can do, maybe keep this option as last, is go to manage and uninstall the game, and then reinstall it <laughs> again. This I'm keeping it last because it takes the longest. It's easy to do, but it just takes very long because of the uh, file size. It could be like 50, 60, 100 plus gigs, right? So make sure you do this kind of last, but this is one of the options that does fix it for you as well. If all of these don't work, one of the last things you can do is update your graphic card. So there's two ways to essentially update it, or three ways I should say. One is going to device managers, uh, going into display adapters, and finding your graphic card there, right clicking into it and doing update drivers. Or if you know how, like your own graphic card has its own uh, basically app, like Nvidia actually has its own app where you can update the graphic card, you could either do it from there or directly from Google, you can find their main website download the uh, drivers update directly from there and install it into your computer uh, so it's all dependent on which one you have right so if you whatever graphic cards you have go from that most likely it's best to do it from their website but you can do it from here as well by right clicking into it and doing update driver so yeah that's basically it if you guys are over the video please smash that like what's up if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe with that notification bell. i'm going out peace